That is so sick. That is so badass. Um, hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another Marvel Legends figure review on the Avengers Age of Ultron movie infinite series Amazon exclusive four pack set. This set includes Thor, Black Widow, Bruce Banner, and Marvel's Hawkeye. I do like that we get the Avengers initiative right over there at the very bottom. And then on the side right over here you get this image in red and you see all four characters. But of course Bruce Banner's in his Hulk form over there. And then on the back of the packaging you can see there's a read up on Bruce Banner. If you want to read it go ahead and pause it now. And then on the other side of the Packaging, you can see the same red image right over there. All right, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's Bruce Banner out of the packaging, post courtesy of Mr. Phils. I really like this figure a lot. My second favorite figure from this box set, even though we do get a lot of kitbash parts from the Phil Coulson figure, uh, we do get new added sculpted pieces as well, so that's very cool. I do like the color choices that we have over here. I think they nailed the head sculpt. So anyway, let's take a closer look at this figure. Now I think Hasbro just killed it. That really Really looks like Mark Ruffalo to me. I think it's just dead on. I think they did a great job with this. I think the paint came out really clean. He has brown eyes. I can't remember if Ruffalo has brown eyes or not. I'm pretty sure he does though, so if I'm wrong about that, please correct me. But I think they just really nailed the likeness, which is really important because this head sculpt is pretty much the only new thing about this figure aside from this upper torso section right over here, which we'll look at more in a second. But I just want to do a full 360 on this figure. And one thing about this figure though is that it doesn't really have any paint shading anywhere on it. And getting a comparison right here with the other guy, I think that is so cool. Damn, and Joss Whedon's choice for having Mark Ruffalo as the Hulk I just think is genius. I just think his bone structure and his face just works so well for the Hulk. I'm just very, very, definitely my favorite cinematic Hulk is Mark Ruffalo Hulk by far. But looking right over here, we get this purple shirt and he has an open collar piece right over here. So this is all brand new. And then looking at the rest of the jacket and everything, it's all reused parts from the Coulson figure. Nice wrinkles right here, so nothing really new in this sculpt. And then you get that nice gold paint right there for his buckles, and I really like the choice of using the blue pants. And then we get this gray jacket right here with the gray blazer. So still looking really nice, nothing really new here. And nice brown shoes, so that's cool. So I like the color variations that we get on this. And then you can swap this head out for the chameleon head. So if you want to do that, that was one thing I really wanted to test. See if this will work, and, want. and there it goes. So if you wanted a chameleon figure, there uh, you got it. Yeah, not looking too bad. And then looking at the banner head sculpt on the chameleon body. Yeah, I don't really like seeing that. I don't know. It's just too neat and clean for Bruce Banner. I gotta mention that my figure's legs are a little bit bow-legged. As you can see from the knees down, they kind of shoot outward a little bit. So a little irritating, but all I need to do is to apply some heat, and that should be fine. Anyway, you can get his head looking up quite a bit. Just want to make sure that you get the hair tucked over that collar right there, and he can look up that far. Can get him looking downward that much. Of course, you get the side side movement and a little bit of head pivot. Arms can move outward that much at the shoulder, they move upward, you get a bicep swivel, great double jointed elbows again, wrist swivel, they hinge up and down, get this awesome ab crunch right in there so you can crunch forward once and crunches back. Then you get a waist swivel, great hip joints that move outward, he can kick forward and he can move back, I almost dropped the figure. He has an upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees, ankles move down, they don't move up and he does have ankle pivot. And he still has these weak peg holes at the bottom of his feet. This Bruce Banner figure stands just a little under six and a half inches tall. And then here's Banner compared to the Agent Coulson figure, and then we have the Chameleon figure right over here. And unfortunately, trying to swap these heads out doesn't really work. Uh, one thing I just started thinking about, did these two characters ever communicate with each other? I don't remember any dialogue between Coulson and Banner. Am I totally wrong about that? I don't know, let me know in the comments. And then here's Banner compared to a couple other Age of Ultron Avengers, and I like that he stands a little bit shorter than Cap and Iron Man. Then here's Banner next to the other two figures from the box set which I've already reviewed, Hawkeye and Black Widow. Then here's Banner next to the Age of Ultron Hulk, and then here's Banner next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Hey Banner, check it out. I'm all green just like the Hulk. Rubble, 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 Hulk crash. Let me out of here. Let me. So again, I really like this figure a lot, even though we're mostly getting a reused body mold, but the new head sculpt, the new upper torso, I just think they're spot on, and I'm just very happy to have this Bruce Banner figure. Anyway, I hope you guys liked my review. If you did, please hit the like button, click any of these boxes over here if you want more shark in your face. If you're 
18 years or older, please check out my Patreon account, link below. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and go to MarvelousNews.com for the latest in Marvel-related news. I'll catch you guys later. Peace! Anyway, you can get his head. Oh, damn it.